Yo, what's going on guys, your boy Tag935, we're back again with another video, and as you can see, we are on the main camera, you've seen the thumbnail, this is another sneak unboxing, I absolutely love new drops from Sneak, they're pretty much on a monthly basis, which is fine by me, they can take my money, I'm good with it, but today we are going to be unboxing both the new collection boxes that come from Sneak, okay, we've got a light side, and the dark side, okay, uh, with a well-known sci-fi movie theme, all right, but we're gonna get into it, so absolutely love days after day, delivery day, as you can see here. Whoosh! We have an absolute beast, a behemoth of a box, and we're gonna unbox this for you right here, right now, so without any further ado, let's get into it. Right, so the first one then out of the box is the light side theme, and what, right, first, this is my first time seeing it, so um, first things first, on one side, we've got some absolutely sick artwork. That is absolutely incredible. That's, do you know, I actually think, well, I've not seen the other one yet, so the other one might trump this, but so far, I'd say this is probably the best artwork of uh, all the boxes. I really like the uh, the soda drop up there, I really thought that was cool artwork with the whole you know soda theme, all right, but this one, th this, this is absolutely incredible. Um, First thing I noticed, right, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if anybody watching here would have watched this cartoon when I was a kid. I'm probably going to show my age here, right, but there used to be a cartoon called Bucky O'Hare. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but uh, there's the other side, but th obviously the trademark rabbit, the sneak logo, obviously they've done like a sci-fi theme with it. It's giving me Bucky O'Hare vibes. I, I, does anyone else agree with me? Let me know in the comments if you if, if you know what Bucky O'Hare is, if you've ever watched it, and if you agree with me. But I, I honestly, it just reminds me of Bucky O'Hare, right? But yeah, anyway, there you go. Uh, but this is the light side. Now, this, I believe, is a Pina Collider flavor, which is obviously their take on Pina Colada, which is obviously a well-known cocktail, which is predominantly pineapple and coconut. Now, this... This is the one that I'm most nervous about. I am not a massive coconut fan, um, but I do love pineapple, all right? So, um, yeah, the other flavor, I was definitely a dark side fan uh, going into this. That was uh, that was gonna be my my go-to, my choice. Um, but obviously, I wanted to pick up both. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get into this. Um, so first thing we get when we open it, um, woo, woo. So yeah, you get a hydrate and an energy drink version. There's the inside of the box for those you're interested. But yes, first things first, because this is one of the things I'm actually really hyped about, and that is the little action figure that you get. So there's the back of the box again, like I said, um, Bucky O'Hare style vibes. Um, oh, it's even got like a little narrative. Uh, rebellious adventurer, sneak sneak walker, hails from the distant planet of HCLL, renowned for its energy powder deserts and fast flowing caffeinated rivers. When, Sky, uh, when Sneak Walker's uh, mysterious neighbour, Bunny Bun Benoit, tells uh, Sneak he's the long lost son of the famous energy wizard, the interpret bunny, uh, interpret bunny sets off on a quest to free the galaxy from the grip of the Crash Dominion. Uh, and learn more about his energetic past, sneakenergy.com. So yeah, this is kind of, I mean, like, what I would say is, right, with, with the sneak drops, right, the imagination, the imagination that goes into these is phenomenal. Like, every drop has its own, like, like theme, and when they do it, they go all out. It's like, they, there's no half measures, it's like all in, and um, yeah. Anyway, there's the actual figure itself. Uh, I'm trying to get my light not to sort of reflect on it, but yeah, we've got ourselves a little, like, action figure sneak logo uh, bunny character which is absolutely incredible and to be fair this is like the old you know sort of 80s blister packs when i was a kid growing up this is when you got action figures from movies like ghostbusters and stuff they'd all come in like blister packs like this where the plastic was like you know sealed heat sealed to the cardboard um, and if you ever kept these in this condition they're worth loads of money now but yeah Proper retro vibes, but with a modern twist. Really like that. So yeah, that's super cool. That's going to be going up on up on my display somewhere. I'm running out of room. I'm running out of room. Sneak, you need to calm down. I lied. You don't. Carry on. Keep them coming. I love them. Right. Anyway, next then, um, let's go for the let's go for the shaker. I'm going to quickly take out the plastic wrapper because it's mega loud. Give me two secs. So we have the bright side, uh, the Pina Collider sneak shaker and this is actually super super clean i thought this would be like a darker blue but it's actually like a really pale baby blue and i quite like it but anyway there you go there's the sneak galactic battles the energy wizards ascension all right and then obviously we've got the uh the bunny logo on the side and i believe yes this is their smart shaker versions which has the uh the mesh mixer inside there which i i, I keep saying it i'm i sound like a broken record Love this. But anyway, yeah, there's your shaker. Um, but yeah, absolutely loving that. Clean, 
Love it. And then of course we've got the flavours, which uh, I will be testing on this uh, video, so I will be trying this. I'm going to unbox everything first and at the end we'll do a little taste test. But we, and, and this is what I love as well, is they've brought them out in the, obviously the uh, 400 gram um, energy, caffeinated energy drink, and then also the uh, 210 gram 30 serving hydrate version. Now, whoop off! There we go. So it's, it's the same artwork. Oh, it's, just, it's the same. It's the same artwork apart from the other side. I've just seen the other side. Not the same artwork on the other side. No, no, no. But this side here with the cartoon drawn on the back. Obviously, we've got the uh, the Bucky O'Hare looking character there, the Sneak Energy logo, all right? Uh, as a as an action figure bunny, and then obviously we've got the uh, the I'm guessing is the um, is the the evil nemesis of him, all right? Um, so yeah, again, still sit cool artwork. Obviously, this one is the dark side, so we have obviously a a dark box, obviously it's very sort of like, you know, sci-fi themed. Uh, but then on the other side, boom, there we go. And like I say, that is it's so sick, honestly. Uh, but we've got the Crash Dominion uh, Collector's Edition there. And I have to say, like, this logo, like this sneak bunny rabbit kind of almost, I don't know what to explain it, like maze looking logo, it just looks absolutely Incredible, but like I say, they go like I say, they don't mess about, they go all in. So, anyway, without any further ado, let's get into this box and see what we get inside there. Cool, so let's show you what's inside the box. Let's give you a little sneak peek <whistles> just a sneaky peek, right? Anyway, as we did before, we're gonna go straight in with the little toy that we get inside here. So, we have here, whoa, that is sick, that is so sick. So, we have the dearth. Dearth Shaker, all right, see what they've done there, Dearth, Dearth Shaker. Um, again, in its own little, uh, in its own little like blister pack, um, It's and it's actually, I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually one of their smart shakers, an evil smart shaker. Absolutely incredible, that is such a clever thing, so cool, looks kind of, looks kind of mean, kind of angry, let's like, say in this like, you know, let's like, say 80s kind of, 70s, 80s style kind of blister pack, heat sealed plastic. Um, Absolutely incredible. I, I I think they've sold out of these at the time I'm making this video on their on their website, but I may I may go to game because you can buy these if they are sold out online. Don't forget you can go to your local game store and pick these up if they have them in stock. But I may try and pick myself up a couple more of these just so I can take them out of the packaging because like the child in me wants to get these out and actually like, you know, play with them, see if the arms move and stuff. But then the other part of me wants to keep them in their box because I don't want to ruin the artwork. And, you know, it's just incredible. Um, but this one has a little bit of backstory as well. So it's the enigmatic uh, general of the Crash Dominion armies is infamous for his defeat of Shake Sneakwalker, the galaxy's greatest energy wizard. He rules with an iron fist and his past is a mystery. Nobody has ever heard his real voice. A few besides, oh, and few besides Dearth and the Dominion, Dominus, uh, Dominus, uh, know what truly lies behind the cold blankness of his visor. Ooh. So yeah, we all know what theme they're going for here, obviously, 50th anniversary. Um, so yeah, absolutely incredible. But that is insane. Love that. Absolutely love that. So we'll put that over to one side. Um, next end, the shaker. Again, I'm going to taste that wrapper because it's a bit loud. Whoop off! And here we go. We have obviously a black shaker of the dark side. Makes perfect sense. Um, again, this is a smart shaker, but look on that side there, we have the Sneak Galactic Battles, Energy Wizards Ascension. And then obviously on the other side, we have that logo, which I do think is really sick. I, 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 the, the, I'm definitely Team Dark Side. Like, I, I wanted so badly to be Team Bright Side and um, be the Energy Wizards, but. I, I just couldn't do it. I, I just, I'm sorry, but yeah. The, you'll see why as well with the flavor in a minute, but yeah, basically this is it. This is the shaker. I just think it looks clean. I, lo I love the logo, it looks incredible. But anyway, there's the shaker. And like I said, smart shaker, so it's got that mesh inside. And then onto the flavor. Now this flavor, straight away, as soon as I heard what the flavor was, I knew this was the one for me, right? And it is Starberry Blast, all right? So this is, again, it comes in the 400 gram caffeinated energy drink version um, and also the um, 210, 30 serving hydrate. Um, and this is, I, I can't lie, I took a punt on this, all right? Because not only did I buy the collector's bundle, but I actually went up and picked up, not one, 
but two extra hydrates because I love the, like I said, I love the hydrate and I love the flavors. And I always, I always want to carry on drinking the flavor, but obviously I, I can't just keep drinking. Obviously late at night when I'm trying to, you know, when I'm streaming and whatever, I don't need the caffeine, you know, at 10 o'clock at night, I don't need caffeine, but I want to stay hydrated. I want to drink something great tasting. And this just hits the mark every time. And as soon as I had the flavor, I was like, right, that sounds like it's going to be a banger. I'm going to take a hit on it. I'm going to take a chance, All right? Um, so I had to pick it up. But this, for those of you that aren't aware, Starberry Blast is basically, from what they've said, is a strawberry, raspberry, and cranberry, um, like, mix or blend or whatever. So, again, very sort of summer fruity, berry-flavoured. I love berry-flavoured things. It's amazing. So, yeah, up against the pina colada. If it was just pineapple, it would have been a very close call, but the coconut, until I taste it, I don't know. I might, I listen... Proofs in the tasting, right? I may change my mind, but at the moment, I'm the dark side, right? But anyway, without any further ado, though, let's get some water, let's get my clear shaker so you can see the colors, and let's get these tested. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Here's what I made earlier we have obviously the Starberry Burst, which is a lovely pink color, and then we obviously have the Pina Collider, which is actually clear. I know, but, but, but I stained my shaker, all right? I, I made a cardinal sin, I didn't finish my blizzard yellow snow, and I left a tiny amount in the bottom, and it went and stained my clear shaker. Right, so top tip, drink your sneak, don't leave any, finish it. Right, but anyway, so I'm gonna go with the uh, Pina Collider flavor first. This is the one I'm most unsure about. Now, when I opened it and was mixing it, um, first thing I noticed the powder was very, very fine, um, but very, very strong pineapple flavor, or smell, should I say, not flavor, I don't taste it yet. Very strong pineapple smell with like a coconutty after smell. So I'm hoping this is more pineapple than coconut. I don't know, we'll see, but it definitely has that pina colada um, kind of profile. So yeah, it, I mean, the smell, it, the coconut does smell very faint. It doesn't smell very strong, the coconut. I definitely say it smells more pineapple than coconut. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get in, let's taste it, let's see what we think. Hmm, try that again. So, it's, the first, the reason why I'm so confused is because it, it's a lot lighter than any of the other ones. If, I, say, I, don't know if it, I don't know if I have to explain this, but it just, it feels a lot lighter. It doesn't, it's not as like strong of a flavor in any sense. It, it's literally a perfect blend of pineapple and coconut. It's like, I'm actually quite surprised. I don't like coconut. It's not my favorite flavor, obviously, out of all of the others. But as a, as a, as a cheeky little, like, just to mix things up a little bit, just to, you know, shake things up, that is actually very nice. It's very subtle. It's not in your face pineapple. It's not in your face coconut. If you're not a big fan of coconut, you probably get away with this. Like genuinely, you probably will. Like it's not. I was expecting it to be way more coconutty than, than what it is. It's it's not. It's just not. It's, I, I, I can't explain it. It's just very light, very refreshing. And yeah, it's 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 a good flavor. It's a good flavor. Like I say, does it does it breach my top three? No. Does it break my top five? Probably not that either. But will I drink it again? Yes. Am I glad I've got it? Yes. It's um, it's very good. What can I say? It's very good. However, this is the one. This is the one that I am most looking forward to. Starberry burst. When I opened it, got the powder out. It smelled just very sort of summer fruity, very strong. You could smell it before you even crack the seal. So I'm expecting this to be, I'm expe I'm actually expecting this to be a stronger flavor than the, the Pina Collider. This one, I feel like this one's gonna be a little bit more um, strong. This one's a, a, a little bit sort of more on the delicate side, should we say. Delicate is a good word. So anyway, without any further ado, yeah, straight away. Straight away, do you know what? For those Sneak fans out there who have been with Sneak and have been drinking Sneak for a while, if you remember Strawberry Millions, it smells 
It reminds me of that. It smells a lot like that. I don't know if it's going to taste like it though, because obviously strawberry minis didn't have cranberry or raspberry in it, but without any further ado, let's get into it. See, now that, that is a banger. That. That is unreal. As I expected, I, I absolutely, I called it. I did not make a bad decision. I bought three tubs of hydrate. I have not messed up. That is a win. This, this, ladies and gents, no joke. This goes into my top two. I, I, listen, I'm a massive fan of Tropicella. Tropicella has been my favorite. It's been king for, uh, well, since I can remember. This may knock it off. I, I, this may actually take top spot. 